I am your host, Pepper <laughs> Lamb. You're here for the Comedy Forum Podcast. Thank you guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! Yes. I am your host, Pepper Lamb. Along with me is DJ Wonderlust. Yay. Woo! And comedian Brian Pham. Yay. Yeah. Uh, this is the interactive podcast that we host every week. And uh, basically, we just take topics of the week, talk shit about them, and get the audience reaction to what's going on. All right, so everybody feeling good this week? Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, has anybody been abducted by aliens at all this week? Yeah. Maybe. Right, maybe. 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 You thinking about it? Okay, yeah. how's everybody's yeah. at Halloween feel? Yeah. No probes? No probes? No. 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 Okay. Cool. Good. Good. Wow. All right. Bearded man. I see a little alien hanging out right there. It's deep. It's deep. They're from Canada. Oh. Right. That explains it. Okay, so, so Mexico came out with their aliens, right? And they look like the worst piñatas I'd ever seen in my life. I was like, y'all do better, Mexico. You can only fit like eight candies in there. And uh, when you look at them, it was like, is this an episode of, is it cake? Um, <laughs> could you slice it? Is it real? Is it not real? But I want to know what the Canadian alien mummies look like. Are they? It's so frozen. We're still looking for them. Man. Okay, got you. <laughs> got you. All right. It's a weak ass answer. But... <laughs> I think uh, I think Canada is hiding something from us, y'all. Um, they got all those fucked up mooses that like steroid horses. I don't know what you call those things. So I know y'all got some weird ass aliens up there. It's okay though. Save the polar bears, right? No? Spark the polar bears? This is what kind of audience we got? That here? is the type of audience we have. What they do to you? What the polar bear do to you? They're hateful. Yeah. They ain't got no ice no more. They yeah. make bitches where they live. And we did it. <laughs> you know, just took our whole shit. You're welcome. Oh. Yeah. All right. When there's polar bears in Detroit, then it'll be a problem. Those fuckers that came across the border. Look at them. Look yeah. like they barbecue real well. Yeah, yeah. Polar bears would kill black people, wouldn't they? <laughs> fucked up. Just like the cops. It's fucked up. Yeah, we took it there. That's what happens when I'm not gonna say a single word. Canada doesn't get their shit together. It's it's okay. <laughs> are all of you guys from Canada, or y'all just pointed no. them out just to be like yeah, right there? Yeah. Those two degenerates. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure. Just making sure. So I'm your host, Pepper Lamb, and uh, I shoot these guys some topics throughout the week of things that are going on on the planet, and um, here we are to discuss them. And uh, now I'm looking for them too. Uh, where did that go? I sent it to y'all, didn't I? Oh, because I'm in the wrong folder here. It's okay, we'll edit this out. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Wonderlust, how was your week? It was pretty good. It yeah. was pretty good, aside from the statistics class. I don't know what's going on with it. Gotcha. Yeah. You don't like statistics? No, it don't like me. It don't okay. like me. <laughs> gotcha. What about you? How was your week? Uh, my week was dope. I uh, I turned old this week, y'all. Woo! Yeah. This week? 40, 46. Yeah. 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 This week. This week. I've been old. I've been old. It's just all official on the calendar and shit now. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm like creeping on that 50 shit right there. I don't know how I feel about that one yet. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I got two of the best birthday presents, uh, my ego could handle. Yes, uh, my family got me Funko Pops that look like me. Oh, <laughs> so if you go in there at the bar, you look at the shelf, there's, there is a, um, I, I have a stepchild, so they call me Dunkle, Dad Uncle. Um, and there's one that just says Dunkle on the grill. And it's just me on the grill, <laughs> the apron, and the gray beard, the whole deal, and the glasses is dope. And then the other one is me uh, holding a microphone up here in sweats, because 
Most of the time I dress like a PE coach. <laughs> if you don't laugh, I'll blow the whistle and make you run a lap. Don't make me run, so, please. Yeah. So um, I, uh, I got the topics now. Okay, here we go. So if you've been on social media this week, um, there was an incident that happened in a mall uh, recently where you had a uh, a gentleman that looked like a school shooter. Mm. Guess his race. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? All that together. It was me. Boy, boy. Canada. Damn. <laughs> 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 Uh, and, and I preface that because he looks like a school shooter. Um, he was like a hoodie and he was walking fast and had like a package and was just like not wanting to be bothered at all. And uh, someone decided to fuck with this young man. Uh, guess their race. <laughs> yes, it was a uh, YouTube prankster who decided to start messing with this young man, and so uh, he told him a couple times, "Hey, man, leave me. Al- I don't leave me alone." And so the YouTube prankster was trying to get him to say, "Oh, you know what you look like," and blah, 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 messing with him. He's like, he's like walking fast. He's like, "Leave me alone. I don't. I, no, leave me alone. I don't want any." And then the guy just kept messing with him third time and so then the school shooter pulled out and became a school shooter just very calmly was just like bop Mm. and then kept shuffling away (laughs) funniest shit i saw this week i was just like yep (laughs) play stupid games get stupid results (laughs) um he was being harassed he was being harassed the gun was uh excessive Um, (laughs) It was excessive, but he wasn't going to fight nobody. (laughs) Um, So, uh, so far, the the police arrested him, and the only charges that he has, they're still serious charges, of the charges that he has are um, uh, brandishing and um, unloading a firearm in a city limit deal, which still can hold two to three years off the deal. He, they were in the mall. It was like in, in the mall. Um, and the only statements we've got from the YouTuber who got shot was, I'd still do pranks. Wait, still oh, what the yeah. fuck? I knew he was He's still alive. alive. Oh, yeah. He said, I'd still do pranks? I'd still do pranks. What a martyr, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fam, you ever pranked anybody? Never. Never? No. Like, not I, even I, a chick you was dating? <laughs> this is my girlfriend's in the crowd right now. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. I'm going to in trouble. He was never like, hey, I got a big dick. Then you took her home. I'm going to have to Okay, Pepper. <laughs> you called me old. I called you Asian. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Oh, he's oh, good. God. This is how we're starting. Okay. All right. Topic one. God damn. I'm sorry, fam. That rhymes. That oh, rhymes. Oh, Dave, you ever prank anyone? Mm, what kind? Of, like anything? Nothing to get you shot, but like. Uh. Uh. No, I don't. I can't. I mean, I. April Fool, maybe or what have you. I told people that. I, 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 when I was visiting here, I was like, that's it. I can't stand it. I'm, I'm moving to Hawaii, but I was actually moving. So everybody thought I was kidding because I said it was on April 1st. And so nobody actually thought I was moving until I finally announced that I'm like, yeah, no, I'm actually moving. But nothing like yeah. malicious, I don't think. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I've got like prank calls and shit, but. Oh, okay. Does that count? Yeah, yeah. I guess like when uh, this shows by y'all already know my age. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, the Jerky Boys were. What the fuck are the Jerky uh, Boys? Somebody in the audience, help us, please. Phone yeah. a You don't know the Jerky Boys? Okay, there you oh, go. Same you. age. There you go. Thank you, there old you white people. Help me out. That's it. That's it. 
Oh. Wow. The Jerky Boys used to come out with comedy albums of them just prank calling people. Okay. Oh, no, we had crank callers. Crank callers? This was before uh -oh. Crank Yankers on Crank Yankers. On, uh, Here it is. Oh, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm so lost. I know. I say <laughs> crank callers. I'm like, that's going to age him out. Yeah. I said album, and that, that fucked him up. Like, <laughs> 78? What's that? <laughs> they didn't just stream Big it. CDs? <laughs> Stream a prank call? I don't understand. I'm <laughs> sure I did something. Like, now I gotta think about it a little bit more. Like, no, see, when I was thinking about it, I was comparing it to that shit. And I've definitely never oh, yeah. done was that, anything. Oh, was that prank even like crazy? I feel like it wasn't. It, I don't know yes. what he was trying to do. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that fuck with people on the street and I'm like y'all gonna get y'all ass but that's what I'm saying like I mean yes okay uh done excessive but like if you mess with me three times I said leave me alone I don't know what kind of time you're on and I'm probably going to pick up the biggest things like near me and just hit you with it like I get that you know because you don't know what people are doing until they do it you know true and I said leave me alone yeah. three times and he decided to go out the house looking like a school shooter, so that should be red flag. Well, shouldn't that be like that? I'm not going to pull this plant yeah. on this dude. Not him. JB, you know a little more? You got some backstory? All I was going to say was it just didn't really seem like a prank, though. Like a prank, you have something and then you intend for a result to happen, and it's like, gotcha. He was just in his face. Yeah, yeah that's what it looked like. What yeah. would you do if somebody's in your face and you say, leave me alone three times, and you sure. got a gun? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody been pranked real good out there in the audience? Anybody got got? Albert? Uh, one time we had a horse pinata uh, for my son's birthday, and my wife knew I was a Godfather fan. <laughs> Already so know where the you're next going. morning I woke up with Sorry, a uh, young mind. people, Godfather was a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it came out. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. That's how I knew she was the one. <laughs> <laughs> she put a horse head in your bed and you were just like oh, marrying her. That's right. Well, I gave her the horse leg after. <laughs> Anybody else got God out there? Got hit good. Maybe the fact when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, like when I had the chicken pox, my uncle put some eggs under me and said I laid them. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. awesome. They were cold. They were still cold from the fridge. That's awesome. Maybe. <laughs> I went, uh, when I was in like sixth grade, I went in and I had, my brother had this kitchen set, like this toy kitchen set, and I grabbed a small pot out of there, and I walked up to my history teacher, and I go, yo, Mr. Smith, I got a little pot. You want some? <laughs> and then he was like, well, what do you say? Like, whatever, and I showed him, and he like laughed his ass off, and that was cool, because I knew him, but then he sent me to the principal's office, and he was like, tell that joke. Oh, and there's, no. like, <laughs> there's like a directorate going on. There's like, like eight people, principal, superintendent, Vice principal, and I get sound down there, and I had to do the joke, and dude, I shit myself, and I still did it. And then I was like, it, I mean, it worked. They all laughed, but okay. they okay. were like, they, but I let it go too. I, they were like, they were like, S like sit down. I think we need to have a talk. And I was like, okay. And they're like, you know that that's a bad track to get on, all that stuff. And then I was like, yeah, you're right. And he's like, can we see it? And I pulled it out. He's like, you motherfucker, like it, was, like, it worked. That's so cheap. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, more on that. I think he was like an Uber delivery driver. Well, the school stage. Okay. So, I think he was just trying to do his job when the guy pranked him. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, so, I'm thinking, like, how much stars would you leave for that guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know he got my food there safe. <laughs> 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 uh, That's why you have the bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I tip them. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> uh, I got some other people I need you to shoot real quick. Uh, hey. So, I was in the ag class, part of ag classes. You learn skills like welding and stuff. So we had access to all of the industrial equipment at the school, and it was an old-fashioned school, and they had just you know panel gates to let the cars in and out. 
Well, one Sunday we welded the gates closed. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Oh, they were out there grinding at 8 a.m. That's good stuff. Yeah. Nice. I think I want to shot you, man. <laughs> That's fantastic. Though. 30 minutes into me grinding in the shower. What the fuck? It's fucking bastards. Shut up, bro. I would have went for everybody at that point. He was part of the class. Tour. Um. I had in college broken up with a girl, and then she tried to hit me with the I'm pregnant on April 1st. Oh. And I'm just like, really? Shut up. <laughs> um, it, it, was a, it was a bad joke in the 90s, it's a bad joke now. I didn't believe her. I was just like, you just mad. You're not getting dick no more. Um, now was that? Yeah. that? <laughs> Ladies, have you guys tried that on a guy? Oh, yeah. no, no, no. That's not a thing in Canada. No, I fucking no. wish it was a joke. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck them kids! Fuck them kids! How many? Damn! Damn. That's your fault. She don't have that point. It's our goal's fault. Oh, we can God. place each one of those experiences. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys That's a weak ass pull out game. How long you yeah. Yeah. Almost 20, huh? Yeah. Wow. Well. 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 Oh, wait, 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 wait. You said 20 years. What's the ages of the kids? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 47. <laughs> <laughs> we were pregnant before we got married. I was the fucking Lily. Oh, yeah. No reason to otherwise. <laughs> I know, it just puts you on the fast track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Why not? Mm -hmm. uh, nothing. 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 I was just thinking of the year difference because that's usually when you can. Uh, oh, yeah. 20 year difference, you're like, oh, I see what happened here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, COVID got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> As we transition to uh, our next subject, uh, you guys have seen in the news where uh, there's the, the killer whales have started fucking with boats, mm -hmm. and I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Um, killer whales are smart. Um, they're so smart they know how to hide bodies. Yeah, like literally in recorded history. There's probably been, in the wild, five killer whale attacks. In the wild. SeaWorld? Um, <laughs> Damn. SeaWorld? <laughs> there's been a whole lot more. There's like five a year, so they shut that shit down. I mean, that's not really fair, though. Like, the wild ones, like the free range ones, the sea world ones. You say free range? They're the case to me. Like the psych ward for kill whales, you know what I mean? You're judging that based off of a psych ward. You also said they could have the body, so are you sure? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm it. Saying. I'm like, they, they're really smart. They're, yeah. uh, there's certain pods that learn how to attack sharks. There's certain pods that only attack certain animals. It, it, they're they're smart into their environment. So there's got to be a point where they was just snatching people off the coast and yeah. covering it up. Um, yeah. That's what I think. Who knows? I don't know. Free Willy one. shit when he jumps out of the water. That's good. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe that's where the Boy Scouts hide all the bodies. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking about the little boy in Free Willy. <laughs> just like, oh, we, we what's like Free Willy? Did you say what's Free Willy? Oh, what's Free Willy? Oh. <laughs> so I, I think Killer Wells have killed more people than they want to give them numbers to. Um, but just this past week, the Navy is fighting back. Um, <laughs> this is real shit. The Navy has petitioned, uh, like, the animal people, uh, I don't know all the organizations name, OSHA, uh, 
whale, whale homies of America. I don't know. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> that acronym is whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> so, they petitioned the animal groups and was like, "Hey, we know that anytime we're doing exercises." we can go ahead and rack up three bodies. They petitioned to kill more whales during their training exercises. Mm. Um, and we're wondering if it's to get back at the killer whales or if they had already probably killed more whales than five or three, and then was just like, oh shit, we got like eight more whales to go. Let's go ahead and put the paperwork in. Um, and see how many more wells we can get signed off on. And <laughs> I, I don't even know where the question is to that for you guys. <laughs> how many whales should die in Navy training exercises is what, is what I asked you, Brian Fam. How, how many is too many? Probably like one's too many, no? One's too many? Yeah. One seems a little excessive. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's like, what, for what? What are they doing? Aside from yeah. hitting the boats, but like, we in their water. I think, yeah. the boat, I think the boats do some shit and hit them. Oh, yeah. 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 I think the yeah. boat would kill them too, apparently. Um, yeah, all that deep sea sh deep sea shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, so, should we equip the whales with lasers? What do y'all feel out there in the audience? Headbands with it, yeah. Since we had sharks with lasers, should we do whales with lasers? <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. Any solutions out there in the audience? Lock the whales. What's gonna stop the navy? What you got, my man? I think eight's okay. You think it's okay? Eight is said okay. Eight is okay. Gotcha. Where are you from, sir? Vegas. Vegas. Okay. Eight um, out of like what? Million? Oh. oh that's that. well, Absolutely not. It's all right. We know how many bodies he has in the desert. It's like, right. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, it's fine. Take the duffel bag. We got it. Damn. <laughs> I'm not against wheels. No shit happens. Yeah. Um, I think the Navy can do better just because they're the Navy. They just like, like, how do you know, how do you not know the whale is there? Like, is, is your shit not? Yeah. If you don't know the whale is there, then you don't know the enemy is there. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> like, Big ass sea creature just. Yeah. Just, oh, like, yeah. I don't um, know if it's a Russian or an orca. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> That's what they said it was, right? Like, <laughs> they thought it was like a, like a Russian something. That sounds like an excuse to kill some whales. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was out there and got bored. I was just like, you know what? Target practice. Well, it's also like, how much do you have to shoot at one? I mean, you know what I mean? Like a cow. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> okay, my bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is a high thought, and there's no real joke to this, but like, so back in the day, we know they used to kill the whales for oil and for their lanterns. And blubber and, shit. and blubber and that kind of shit. Perfume. Yeah. How how fucked up of a society did do we come from that they was just like, oh, we should just kill that big ass fish? But I know they're mammals. Shut up. <laughs> um, and you know what we should do with all that extra stuff? We should make oil out of that. Like how? Like what were they smoking to be like? Yeah. <laughs> I think I can turn a whale into fuel. <laughs> they were they were freezing is what they were doing. Oh, so they just lit shit on fire, whatever they could light on fire. <laughs> Wait, throw, that, throw another piece on. That shit was warm. Okay. <laughs> That's smart. You look like a whaler, sir. You look like a whaler. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, but, uh, I mean, let's be real. If we look around the audience, who in here would have a harpoon? <laughs> that man right there. The guy who looks like he should be hit by a harpoon? I don't understand. <laughs> you got a warm ass beard. Yeah. <laughs> At least you don't look like a school shooter. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. He looks like his dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what your kids look like. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, cool. Oh. Um, Anyone else, any solutions for these whales and shutting the Navy down? What you got, my man? Uh, let's try to just collect all the whales and maybe separate them, put them in like a camp, 
you know, Is that what close you off that can <laughs> and maybe just like oh, shit, train them to to build railroads. Yeah, yeah. That would be really cool. uh, these males Asian. Now? Yeah. Wasn't that what oh, American did? <laughs> <laughs> that, that might actually be the most American answer <laughs> that we've come up with. <laughs> Terribly disturbed, but... <laughs> we got the best whales in the world. Oh my god! <laughs> That's awesome. I will say, like, researching this whole thing, more people felt bad for the whale than the fucking guy that got shot in the YouTube like, that shot. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> no one felt bad for the guy that got shot. Nobody the felt bad for the YouTuber. Not and not everybody's like, we gotta save the whales and shit. Yeah. yeah Alright, just me. Yeah. 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 No one wants to save irritating people. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. That's his life. There it is. There it is. All right, we got one last subject we're going to go to, and uh, this is uh, this is interesting. Um, yep, sign up, open mic, y'all got it. Um, so I watch a lot of sports and podcasts and whatnot, and um, there was everyone know who Shannon Sharp is? Yeah, you. Okay, one guy. All right, Hall <laughs> of Fame tight end. He uh, they call him Uncle Shannon now. He's got a podcast called Shay Shay. Yep. And he had a young lady on who um, is a little, I guess what they call promiscuous or whatever. She uh, she actually used to date Colin Kaepernick, and she's like known for dating all these like high profile players and rappers and whatnot. And um, they're having a discussion about sex and whatnot, and she was just like, yeah, I've been with 35 guys. And Shannon Sharp had a reaction that went viral. He was like, damn, uh, 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 and all this clip went all over the place. And one, um, I thought it was dumb um, not to slut shame people or whatever, but because he was a Hall of Fame NFL player. And I'm like, bro, you had 35 a semester when you was in college. <laughs> 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 Uh, why are you tripping on her 35 number? Uh, you know you had 35 in college. Um, I played Division Two and had 25, so how the fuck are you? It's like, like, are we still? Is that a still? So my question to my panel and to the audience is: um, One, do you care about the number that your partner is on the notch on the belt before you? And two. What number is too high? Uh, real number. Real right, number. Let's All right. Let's hear it. And you look like you don't fuck some people, man. <laughs> 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 Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right, right here. Okay. Go ahead. How many people have you fucked a hundred times or more? That's, That's a good cool question. She's going by dick mileage. That. That's a good <laughs> That's the real one. Yeah. No. Is it yeah. the same? Oh. You can't fuck the same. As much as it is to fuck different people. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a whole different disease bracket. One. <laughs> 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 no, it's a double standard. <laughs> it is a double standard. Because when men do it, it's okay, but when women do it, they're fucked. I agree. It is a double standard. But it's also the old rule that it, if a woman tells you a number three times, that a guy tells you a number three times less. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's because we've been conditioned to believe because of this double standard. It's like we know we can say you can say anything over three, and somebody might go, "Damn!" Yeah. If, if the right. Place. I wonder. Uh, I pose this to some of the younger people because, like, if you look at us up over here, we're thirty-five to forty, all up on up on this front row. All sure. right. Watch. <laughs> if you watch any of the movies that we watched in the 80s and 90s, it was all about trying to take somebody's virginity. All up through the American Pie shit, that's just what it all was. was about. <laughs> that's, that's all the shit was. So the younger audience doesn't, they don't make that many movies like that anymore. Those movies used to be like, you get four of those a summer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now yeah. you don't do that anymore. So I'm kind of posing this to the younger audience. Did it, did it, does the body count still matter for y'all? Is it, what, What's your flow? Based on wear and tear. Mm -hmm. uh, you say wear, wear and tear? tear? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a car or a person? <laughs> it says the worst body.
fighting guy back there. <laughs> 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 Good. I've dated some women with some pretty high body counts before, and like they chose me, right? You know What's what high to you? Like thirty plus, right? Wait, wait, so it's wait, like, wait, wait. how old are they? Yeah, like oh, mid twenties. Hey. Why do you want to know? That's my way. <laughs> That's a good question. I always want to know the answers to things that are gonna hurt me. So <laughs> I'm just saying, like thirty plus, and then she chose me. That's a that's a compliment of my dick. Yeah. Yeah. She saw all those dicks and was like, this one's long term. Nah. Are you still with uh, her? Really? Yeah. Oh. 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 She yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, the other canoa? I know. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm On the argument to this side, I say the more the merrier because the more you had, the more experienced you are, and I don't want to have to teach somebody how to no, have sex. That's you know? a great fucking point. Yeah. yeah. That's a great fucking point. I would right. love to teach someone how to have sex. That sounds no, awful. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Oh, uh, that's called like... grooming, sir. I'm saying me. I'm saying me. I'm like a man. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me teach you. <laughs> is the number that's too low? Yeah. Zero. Zero. Zero is too low. Uh, yeah, they, they uh, somewhere. In college, I kicked three women out of bed. Flat out. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> not interested. I was not interested in versus at all. No, it was a It was ladies, y'all want to be honest now? Uh the first dude you had sex with, were you psycho over him or not? No. 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 Oh, it just wasn't, I mean, it's also like what, if, when you go into it, right, like what's your purpose for it, right? And it's also when you start to, I think it's also yeah. matters as well. So for me, it was like, by the time I decided to, I, I just wanted to know what the hoopla was about. Yeah. I was like, I was like 20. Yeah. So I was like, no, I mean, I was like, I just wanted to, like, everybody seems to go crazy over this. This person said they're low. Me, they haven't even slow. What, what is going on here? Okay. It's just, okay, everybody seems to they love it. It's this, okay, let me just, let's see what's going on. But I don't want to be with somebody that I, you know, think I'm going to fall in love with, so. But it's somebody I want to trust, like, I, I don't know. Yeah. It was just, it wasn't a, a, I did not want that to happen at all. So I, I definitely was intentional about it. Fam, what was your first experience like? Yeah. Still women. <laughs> Still women. I'm telling you, your first experience with women. Oh. Still women. Oh wow. Wow. I don't know. It was weird. Like, like we both didn't know what we were doing, right? And it was, goes back to like the experience thing. Like I don't, I don't want to teach somebody how to do it. I don't want to. You want to be <laughs> I see why you're with her, man. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Does it matter for you girls? For the body count? I, I don't think so. I feel like guys, they like harp on. If anything, you know, it's just, you know, if, if you have a, a high body count at the point, it's just like, alright, if we get together, I know you're not going to be stuck with a bunch of curiosities of like, I need to experience more. Yeah. Like you've experienced it. Oh. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But it's not like you're gonna run away because of curiosities. You know what I mean? It's just uh, like, that makes sense. That makes sense. sense. Well, and it's just gonna be down to pure connection. <laughs> I feel like that you have to think about that means that the bar is in literal hell. Um, <laughs> it's literal hell, right? Like maybe if you fuck a bunch of people, you you know stay around for good reasons. Like that's that's hell. Wow. Yeah. Can we get someone more insecure than her to answer? <laughs> God damn. Oh, that's funny. Oh. Do you might have a like just one of those stalker experiences the first time. Um. Oh, stalker? Oh. Yeah. Like me. <laughs> no, no one, no one wants. When to... it happens for me, I know it will be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, for you? Oh, well, shit. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> younger crew, what, what, what number is too high for you? Seven. Uh, <laughs> Did I say seven? Three. Yeah. 
I don't know. I was gonna say, um, you said the stalker thing. I don't. I don't know if this counts. But like, I was at a bar and this big girl kind of picked me out, and no issue with that, right? But I wasn't really into her. And then she like in college, you all live together. It's all like one building, right? So I think she lives by my building, and I'm kind of just like taking the drunk bus home. And we're going home, that's what, that's what we call it. But anyway, we're going home and I'm noticing like she's not getting off and she's waiting for like my building. So I'm kind of realizing shit, she's trying to go back with me. So I just did, never said anything. And she just like walked into my, like I didn't tell her no, but she just came into my room. And then like, I didn't do anything. I didn't initiate shit. I just went to sleep and she slept next to me. And then eventually I couldn't sleep cause she was huge. So then I went to like the lobby and because I was like, I had practice the next morning, so I just went to the lobby and slept there. So I feel like that was kind of shitty. Bro, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's 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 like soccer. Soccer. Wait, man, I'm sorry. So, did you ever hit it? Or no, she just no, 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 no. no, so. That was just flat out. No, so he got nope. I had no room in the bed. It was a twin. So you got no ass and hey, you got kicked out of your own bed. You fucked up. Hey, uh uh. Uh uh. Wait, hold up. Would you guys say a single word? Like, it was no word. Like, she just followed you in. And I could have just like been like, no, but I just kind of was like, like I kind of saw her behind me, I was just like, okay, like, and I kept the door open, so it kind of on me, but no, it's 100% on It's 100% on It was like so many opportunities, like, hey, which, why are you coming to my room? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I just felt like it was just not my choice. What part of you? What part of you? You didn't say no. I said. What you didn't fucking say no. You can say no. You're a guy. You can still say no. I think leaving the room was saying no. No, you still didn't get the fuck out of my no. Well, I so I have practice at like 7 a.m. and so I wake up. And like from the lobby, walk back into my room, and I like grab my baseball shit, like get dressed, and I walk out of the room. She's still there, and then like she was gone by the time I came. Wait, back. you left her in your? Oh, oh hell no! Sorry. First of all, what you about you really follow me into my room? I'm not leaving them in here with my shit. Like what? Man, that bitch was homeless. <laughs> <laughs> she slept good that night. <laughs> And you let her in your bed. Then I'm a good person. I'm not good. Uh, so it's never not easy to tell the young people say they don't have a problem with confrontation. Just refer back to this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's all the same. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Either happen like, or it's not happening. I think I was slightly <laughs> curious until it like was really happening. You know, it's like a. It's like a oh. hand job after a massage. You're like, she's not gonna do it. She's not. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> like sixty dollars, and you're like, fuck, I'm broke, and then you leave. Okay, where did you go? Uh, <laughs> where are these sixty dollars? So she's a failed experiment. <laughs> where was this? <laughs> all right, so we're all in agreement that body counts don't matter anymore, right? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I have never been one to ask. Um, That's a good, good policy. None of my business. Yeah, I got fun. Yeah. Right. Don't ask me. You know, it's your really yeah. like, Are you having fun right now? Enjoy. Uh, ask me where I learned. We, we've been married almost eleven years, and he still has a dad. So, so what is it? I don't care. Exactly. I'm just. I got two people in the crowd. Danger field. Oh, damn it. Don't look at me different. Out of you four <laughs> friends, how who do you think is has the highest body count? Alright, fellas, out of the four oh, fellas of this group, oh. who do you think has the highest body count? Big him? Big harpoon? <laughs> I'd say John. That's, That's why they call name. him harpoon. He was in high school. He was hot. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Like how my man is just like, I ain't saying shit. <laughs> 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 like cousin, and I don't really want to know. <laughs> Fair enough. Go. Go. Uh, uh, Ma'am, did you have a question? You had a question. I don't have a question. No. He's <laughs> rough and No. He's rough and Hey, what did you ask him? Yeah. What's up? I asked your body count. I was, I was curious, you know? Super weird. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yes, I should have it out right now. Yes. <laughs> it was good. I liked it. You liked the number. We're going to edit this one out. What do you say? You liked the number. That's my lucky number. <laughs> Oh, oh, awesome, yeah, awesome, nice. awesome. All right, well, this has been the Comedy Forum. Thank you guys for participating. Uh, you can clap right there. Right. Thanks. Uh, shout out to DJ Wonderlust, yay. Shout out to Brian Sam, yay. All right, now I'm picking y'all on stage. All right. So what about, we gotta give it up for Pepper Love. I feel like they should sing you happy birthday too. I do not feel like that. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday shit. It's weird. Um, anyway, so.